Hey guys, I've got another app pick for you today, but I'm going to just explain a little bit of context before I present it to you. Uh, many of you, I'm sure, like myself, are familiar with the web app Notepad.cc. It's a very, very simple web app that presents a well, a notepad, very similar to a Microsoft Notepad on the Microsoft operating systems and G-Edit or Kate or whatever, you know, any of your, your sort of bog standard text editors. But the difference between this is not only is it a web app, but multiple people can sort of log in and change it. It's basically, for all intents and purposes, multiplayer notepad. And it's a very useful tool if you want something very minimalist, very basic, and if you just want to scribble something down and perhaps present it to a few people. It's almost like paste bin, but you can change it and um, you can collaborate on it. So when I found out that the service was being discontinued as of the 1st of February this year, I was pretty disappointed. Now, this app, I didn't really sort of, you know, huge amounts of my work wasn't contingent on it. But often when I just needed to make a quick list, specifically with like a bunch of people, whether or not we were planning something, planning an event or writing out an agenda or a timetable, it was really useful for that because one person could then put the bare bones of it down and then other people could flesh it out as, uh, you know, as you, as you come up towards uh, what it is you're agendering. So... Yeah, I was pretty disappointed when I found out that the service was being discontinued. So I looked around for alternatives and I stumbled across this. Notepad.pw. It's practically the same service, but it has a few more features. You can uh, add a password to your files so you can uh, collaborate on documents in secret. I don't know if you're a member of the Illuminati or something like that, but it could be useful if you are. And also... Uh, it allows you to have custom URLs, so it gives you something a little uh, less ugly if you want to share it around the internet or possibly even uh, write it down on a, on a piece of paper. You can also do things like change fonts, and there is even a night mode. So this is a little bit like notepad.cc, but with a few extra bells and whistles. Uh, I have checked out the privacy policy, and it seems pretty standard for the kind of web apps that... Um, you know, pretty standard for web apps nowadays, but it's a very short privacy policy. So I would recommend you guys all read it because it's always good practice to get into the habit of reading privacy policies, understanding the language and appreciating when a service has a straightforward and simplified privacy policy as well, when they're trying not to deceive you and they're trying to be upfront and straightforward. And they put their privacy policy right on the front of the website as well. They're not really sort of hiding much about what they're trying to do there. So it looks like it's a really good service, a really simple service if you just want to collaborate on a quick document with, uh, with other people or just something that you might want to share around on the internet. But if you want something in the cloud that's simple, straightforward, and you don't really want to have to fire up a Google Doc or you were trying to avoid the use of Google products for obvious reasons, then this is a nice little alternative if you just want to get a quick job done. I've always been a fan of the Unix philosophy, specifically the idea of getting a program to do one job and that one job very well. And this is pretty much what notepad.pw does. Uh, I do actually have to admit, nowadays I do find myself working a lot more in plain text. I find there's a lot less aggro. You don't have to worry about what fonts you're using. You don't have to worry about laying out the titles. You can actually just focus on the content. And I don't know if it's because of my age where substance is significantly more important over style and I feel that the world seems to be trending in the opposite direction with uh, with a lot of things uh, seeming to prefer style over substance. Anyway, I'm determined to keep this channel full of substantive content. If you would like to join me for the ride, then um, keep watching. Thanks very much for watching. That's about it from me today. Until next time, I've been Chris Ware and you've been awesome. Take care now.